Hello, beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Now, look, I found an amazing video. Got to kind of go through it a little bit, check it out. And, um, man, this is a really good list of 10 super reliable cars that you can still buy for $10,000. The only thing I really didn't agree with is um, the Ford Fusion. Now, the Ford Fusion is reliable, but when something does break, it it's very, very expensive, and it's a huge nightmare and headache. But um, a lot of good cars that are mentioned in here, Toyotas, Hondas, Mazda. So let's jump right into it and um, check it out, you guys. 10 super reliable cars that you can still buy for $10,000. And we already knew Toyota, Honda is going to be in here. So some of y'all looking for that, for me to say Honda and Toyota. Yes, they're in this they're in this top 10, okay? So don't worry, they are in this top 10. <laughs> but hey, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Just here to make sure you have an okay life, keeping you guys updated, spreading the truth, good information that you guys can take in. And hey, who knows, this video might be helping somebody. So let's crank it. Your new data indicates the car market is still, quote, brutal. The ease of finding an affordable and appealing used car is a thing of the past. The average price of a used car soared last year, and prices remain at all-time highs, making it tough for- 27,000, man. Oh, man. Budget-conscious buyers. Still, there are reliable, value-packed, and even fun and stylish rides available for 10 grand. Yep. All you need is a bit of patience while shopping and some careful research. That's where this list comes in. Using a combination of average transaction prices, owner feedback, and reliability ratings, we've compiled 10 good $10,000 used car choices. For this list, we look for cars newer than the 2010 model year with at least half of their lifespan remaining. Mm -hmm. Before we go, please don't forget and to- Shout out to the SUV geek. We'll leave the original link in the description box down below. But let's crank it. We're starting this bad boy off with mods um, with Subaru, and we knew Subaru was gonna be in here, man. Um, I think my last video I did of talking about um, the t in the top my top five cars uh, that you should look into was the Subaru Outback that was listed at one of the, a very reliable vehicle as well. Number ten, Subaru Impreza. The 2014 Subaru Impreza is available either as a sedan or hatchback with seating for five. Mm. All trims feature Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive. The WRX or STI version of the Impreza from the early 2010s is among some of the best handling and most powerful ones in this price range. They're also highly reliable and dependable in true Japanese fashion. Yeah. However, if you get the base variant with the 2.0-liter naturally aspirated engine, you may find yourself wishing for more power when overtaking on the highway. Those models, however, also cost a lot less than the WRX and STI trims, so it's up to you if you want to save a couple thousand dollars or get more power. Either way, you can accumulate thousands of miles on it. As per the car research firm IC Cars, the Impreza has a 10% chance of lasting 250,000 miles and longer. Number 9. 2015 Ford Fusion If you want to buy a Ford for under $10,000 and expect it to be an experience with no problems, the Fusion is the way to go. Though it was discontinued in 2020, the Ford Fusion continues to receive praise for being one of the very best used vehicle values on the market. Again, like I said, y'all be careful now. Because when something breaks, it's a nightmare, it's expensive, you know, so be aware on these Ford Fusions. IC Cars estimates that 10-year-old Fusion sedans have a potential lifespan of 201,000 miles. Let's say you get a 2015 Fusion with 100,000 miles on it for 10 grand. You know you have another 100,000 miles left in it if you just take care of it properly. Plus, the Fusion will also give you better fuel economy thanks to its efficient engine and small size. So for people looking for an affordable car, there can hardly be a better option than this Ford. Number 8. 2014 Mazda 6 The Mazda 6 might Mazda be the best-looking sedan on a budget. It comes with Mazda's signature Skyactiv-G engine, the same that is found in the Mazda CX-5 crossover, 
and if you look hard enough, you can even find an all-wheel drive version of the vehicle for under ten thousand dollars. And we've seen some of you guys saying that you're y'all have your Mazda six with two hundred and seventy thousand miles on it, like almost three hundred thousand miles on these vehicles for some of you guys. So that says something right there, man. I praise vehicles that can reach three hundred thousand miles, man. Four hundred thousand miles. I mean, it's it's. That's a huge, huge, huge milestone for these vehicles. The Mazda 6 from this era might not be the most advanced car from the automaker, but it's the most advanced one you can find at this price. You will find cruise control, automatic climate control, and other safety and convenience features, all of which make it great for daily use. Number 7. 2014 Toyota the Prius C Prius. Yeah. Also known as Toyota Aqua in some markets, the Prius C is a compact hatchback with a smaller body but the same powertrain as the regular Prius. That means even better fuel economy and all the advantages of a hybrid but a lower price point if you can settle for a smaller car. If you're buying a 10-year-old hybrid, the battery is expected to have some issues. But you can find a private repair shop that can replace the battery making the car essentially brand new, as the rest of the things on these Toyotas just do not break. Yep. Number 6. 2010 Prius Toyota again. Prius The Prius is... some of y'all be getting, what? 50 miles per gallon? <laughs> 100 miles per gallon? Be riding for 2 or 3 weeks before they hit the gas station. It might be the most hated car on the internet. But if you're looking for a used car that is cheap to own and maintain, the Prius is one of the best options out there. Known as the first hybrid car in the world, it's a comfortable and extremely cheap to operate vehicle. You can easily get 40 to 45 miles per gallon from this hatchback, <laughs> and it also has ample trunk space for cargo. Though you might have to get the batteries replaced for an old unit, that is not too big of a cost. The average cost for a Toyota Prius battery replacement is around a thousand bucks. Before we dive into the next car, if you appreciate all this info and the presentation, please drop us a like. Probably the most unusual. So we got the number five on the list, Subaru Legacy. Actual entry on this list, the Legacy would cost you just under ten thousand dollars for a fine specimen. It comes with a two and a half liter I4 or a three point six liter V6 engine, which are great for daily use. The V6, however, is particularly great for highway cruising. The Legacy would be hard to find. But if you do get your hands on one of these, you will not have to worry about anything as these cars are built like a tank. Mm. If you're into tuning and mods, this car welcomes them quite well. Number 4. Uh, 2013 Honda Civic the Civic. We know the Civic's gonna be on the list, man. We already knew this. Some of y'all... Riding that that Civic right now, yes indeed, man. That Civic, it's the, probably the best thing sitting in your driveway. It's never, it's, it's never let you down. I know. Civics have been taking people from point A to point B reliably day in and day out yes, since indeed. the 1970s. Yes, indeed. An icon of affordability, dependability, and fuel economy. The Civic can be a great car for anyone from an office worker to a high school student looking for their first car. The 9th generation Civic came out in 2012 is a fairly capable, safe, comfortable, and dependable car. The R and L series engines may have been in circulation for a while before this generation, but they maintain their reputation as being reliable and affordable to maintain. Owners declare that with proper care, the powertrains can last for hundreds of thousands of miles. Yep. If you're in the mood for it, you can even add some mods to it and make the <laughs> Civic a perfect sleeper car that no one can suspect does 0 to 100 in 4 seconds. Hey man, shout out to all my car enthusiasts out there, man. Yes indeed, with all that boost underneath that hood. Yes indeed. Number 3, 2013 Toyota Corolla. Yes indeed. Woo! Oh man. I, I recommend this car to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Just like that Civic, I recommend this car to anyone. Toyota has sold more Corollas than any model of any manufacturer ever. This is because Corollas are the most resilient car there is. 
These workhorses have been transporting people inexpensively for as long as we can remember. From scorching hot deserts of Africa to freezing cold plains, the Corolla holds its own in all environments. If well-maintained, the 2009-2013 to Toyota Corolla range celebrates an impressive reputation surrounding reliability, and both the 2ZR and 2AZ powertrains can carry on for a quarter million miles without any hiccups. If you want a car that does not have a lot of frills, but can keep working for the foreseeable future by just changing the engine oil on time, there is no better option than the Corolla. And we've seen these cars at three, two, three, four, almost 500 miles. And we believe somebody did record 500 miles on, on, on one of these Corollas, even more than that. So, hey, man, well worth it. Number 2. 2011 Toyota Camry Now, now the most reliable, we just did a video on the Camry from 2002 to 2006. Uh, the, yeah, so the Camry from 2002 to 2006 um, was the best car ever made. The uh, four-cylinder engine. Yes, indeed. And we see those cars hitting 400,000 miles easily, 500,000 miles easily. You know, my buddy, he, he sold his with 300,000 miles on it to get a 2021 Camry. But he used his to do DoorDash in. And he said the car was still perfectly in good condition when he sold it with 300,000 miles on it. If you want a little bit more features, engine power, and a bigger size than the Corolla, the Camry is what Toyota has to offer. This icon of economic travel and comfort and style might not have sold as many units as the Corolla, but it's every bit as good. If you have a budget of under $10,000, you'll have to settle for a Camry that has covered a lot of ground in its years. But these cars hold up really well upon prolonged use. There are examples of people who have driven these things as much as half a million miles and only ever went to the workshop for oil changes and minor stuff. Yep. Number 1. 2012 Accord. Honda Accord Honda's equivalent of the Camry, the Accord, is another car meant to carry people from A to B with no special tricks up its sleeve. The Accord from this era, just like the Camry, comes with a 2.4-liter inline-four as the standard yeah, engine. Four, yep. But if you're lucky, you can find the V6 variant as well. However, unlike the Camry, the Honda comes with more safety and convenience features that make driving it easier and less tiring. In fact, if you can find the top-of-the-line version, you can even get cruise control and many other valuable features. I hope you liked this video and yep. gained something from it. If so, please give us a thumb. That right there. Yes, I'm pretty sure we all took something in, man. But again, a lot of these cards we've already talked about on the channel. Um, and we knew majority of this list. So, hey, there you guys go, man. 10 super reliable cars that you can still buy for 10,000 bucks. And y'all might even get them way lower than that. Y'all might can look for, for, might find you a deal below 5,000. But hey, play your cards right. Do your research. Take your time. Come out your comfort zone. You might have to travel. You might have to do this. But hey, go get what you want. Get what you deserve. And get what, be what best fits your situation in life. I love y'all. I'm wishing the best in everybody's life. Join the OK Life family. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love you guys.